there's not much in here. But I'm gonna go through and clean it out. See what I can throw away. And see what needs to be used this week. Lot of condiments <laughs> what is up with this i feel like this is normal for every house but we have a so much crap um, a lot of it like this has been in there forever so it's gonna go in the trash this is disgusting we hauled this a while ago and i don't know why i threw it didn't throw it away after we tried it it was so gross so don't buy this. You can find it at Walmart. Don't do it. It's nasty. Trash. Uh, let's see, this is pretty good. Luke really likes this for um, to put on like if he's barbecuing um, to coat while it's cooking. It's really good. And then this is our favorite barbecue sauce. We love this stuff. I mean, we just have like the normal soy sauce, hot sauce, mustard. I think the rest of this is good. So, just put it all back. But surprisingly, it wasn't that dirty. The drawer, the door um, was not that dirty. So, get all this organized and put this stuff back. I need to get some more Worcestershire and more soy sauce. So I emptied out the next two shelves. A lot of this is pretty good. Um, we have a gallon of milk for next week. Yay. Or for this week. <laughs> it was in the back of the fridge. Like I remember it, but I don't remember it. You get what I'm saying? Got some brandy liqueur. This needs to go out in the fridge in the garage. We normally keep our alcohol and liqueur and stuff like that in that fridge out there. So I'll take that back there. Luke really likes this coffee. Uh, and this I'm not a huge fan of. I was really hoping I would be. I got this at Aldi. Just not a huge fan. The salted caramel uh, cream cheese spread is way better than the pumpkin one. But, I mean, it's good. It's just not like real, real good. You know what I mean? This is bad. This has been in there for a little while. How long does Cool Whip last in the fridge, y'all? Two weeks. I did not know that. Did y'all know that? Oh, look, it's not even Cool Whip. Ha! SpaghettiOs. Isn't that normal here in the South? Like, I really thought that was Spaghetti, or thought that was Cool Whip. It's like, for real, you reuse cut, like, you can have like 10 butter containers in the fridge like oh which one's the butter let's play a game <laughs> so i like using the cool whip containers for that as well so that's spaghettios that's not cool whip but if you didn't know it says it on the back that the cool whip lasts for two weeks in the fridge i did not know that uh let's see luke got in the random mood about chocolate so these are really good y'all the special dark chocolate hershey is the best it is so stinking good especially if you put it in the fridge oh it's so good <clears throat> let's see we got yeast we'll put this back I keep this in the back of the fridge um with cornmeal um it lasts a longer especially for the yeast always keep it in that you can either free keep it in the freezer or keep it in the fridge and i have more room in the fridge than i do in my freezer um and it does so much better <clears throat> keeping it fresher in the fridge. Um, and then I do the same thing for cornmeal. You just never know. Crit little critters can get up in that cornmeal. And that is not pretty. So I got some spaghetti sauce I need to use this week. I used it for pizzas at the beginning of last week. And so I'll use that this week to get it out of the fridge. And then I forgot about this salsa. Um... This is local. This is a Kentucky Proud product. Um, 
pretty sure that based and close to where we are but it's a really good salsa so i'll take this with some chips to work this week and i have a whole jar of banana uh, rings that i forgot about so i might do um, italian beef roast because i know i have a roast in the freezer so i might do an italian beef roast for this week but let's get this all put back So now we have our cheese drawer in a dairy shelf is what I call it. I did not realize how many things of cream cheese I had. So I definitely need to use something with cream cheese this week. I opened these last week, so I'm gonna go ahead and pitch them. Um, but these fresh mozzarella balls are so good, y'all. Very, very good. Uh, this salted caramel hummus is the bomb.com. It is from Aldi. Y'all have to run right now uh, and go try some because it is so freaking good it's empty so that's why um, i have some ricotta cheese uh, it's still in date but it's been open so i'm not uh, it should be good to go i think it's still good so i'll find something to use that this week uh still have a little a few cheese cubes left for work lunches I know I need sour cream because this is pretty much empty. Oh, let's check it though because it might not be sour cream. <laughs> Since the whole Cool Whip deal. Oh, it's sour cream. So that's good. Got some Velveeta. She slices. Let's see. We have Swiss cheese slices I didn't know about. That was in the bottom of the uh, cheese drawer. So that's good. The sludge meat needs to be thrown away. And, oh, this. Okay, so we got these yesterday. We went to McDonald's. And they gave us extra pies. But, y'all, the pumpkin cream pies from McDonald's. Y'all have to go try them. They're so good. That's what I was eating on earlier when I was washing the dishes. But, oh, it's so good. Y'all gotta try it. I'm about to heat that up. <laughs> but, let's get all this put back. There was really not that much stuff in there and it wasn't that bad um in the bottom it's just a pack of chicken i'm gonna cook and then that's leftovers so we went to texas short house which i'm about to eat because i'm hungry so i'm gonna stop and eat me some lunch and then we will tackle the freeze and the deep freeze together lord help y'all it is a hot mess So this is most of what was in the freezer. Uh, I knew we had these and they were in the back. So I just have three of the turkey breast tenderloins. These are so good. Luke smokes these. Oh, delicious. Got a pack of chicken, which is good to know. I forgot about that. We have a bunch of pork. So Luke needs to do something with them. <laughs> we're really not huge pork people. Unless we like throw it in the slow cooker and do like a carnitas or he smokes it. Um, I might do pork chops every now and then. But we're really just not big. I don't know. I guess like weekly pork people if that makes any sense. But we got that. Some bacon. I got um, a couple of my breakfast sandwiches I had made a few weeks back. I have a couple of them left. Hamburger buns. 
This is ground sausage. This is smoked beef roast. Delicious cheese tortellini. And then this is actually um, already cooked pork. Um, he had smoked this. It looked like this and he had smoked it and we cut it and this is what was left. So I might thaw this out this week and use that. And then we have just a few chicken nuggets, like a little bit of french fries. This is some banana bread. And then some pepperonis, which I had forgot about. And then this is what's left of that meatball, um, Italian meatball soup that I, that I had made in a collab. I'll have that video um, linked in the description box for y'all. And then I've got a couple um, chicken patties that were left and I put them in this bag to kind of save space because the bag they were in was huge, taking up a lot of room. So we're gonna get all this put back in here and I might like move some stuff around once I get the deep freeze, the stuff out of there, I might like change out. Cause I like to have more of like more common stuff in here. So I'll probably will switch out the pork and stuff like that. But always keep the veggies, frozen veggies are always in the bottom. So that's what's in there. And then this is just like ice cream and whatnot. So, but I'll put all this in there for now so it doesn't thaw out and then I'll do the deep freeze. And then, like I said, we'll do a switcheroo on some stuff. The deep freeze is full to the top. So, of course, french fries. These are definitely going to go in the regular fridge. Uh, and then I just have a bunch of random stuff. These have been in here for so long, I'm probably just going to pitch them. These have been in here for so long as well, but they still should be fine. But I'm just gonna go through this can go in the other fridge. In the other fridge. I don't even know what's down in here, y'all. So let's let's investigate. So as y'all heard, I definitely have to do a little voiceover on this, um, but I got everything out. I made a list of everything that's in there so I know um, what's in there. Um, so next month, our plan is to do kind of like a low spend month, pretty much only based on meat. So we have a bunch of meat that we need to use, um, get rotated. Um, so we y'all will see the process through that next month, of course, on my grocery hauls. But this whole video was really me getting down, figuring out what we had cleaning out and like I said I made a list so we know for next month coming up to use a lot of the meat that we have um, and then we can restock with fresh meat um, for starting of the new year. Okie dokie so now that all of the cleaning is done we went to Kroger and we spent $79.44. The only thing you don't see on the table is the L8. And Luke got a 12 pack of green tea for work. Um, they're in the truck for him just to take to work because he has a fridge at work that he can keep those in. So we really didn't need much. Clearly, as y'all seen, the amount of food that we have in this house is unreal and i didn't, didn't even share what the pantry looks like so like i said in the other clip we are definitely doing a um low spend month for next month um but we didn't need much this month or this 
of right here so we just didn't we just got what we needed um but next month will definitely be a low spend month so y'all stay tuned for um, next month's grocery hauls because we're gonna be cooking with what we have here at the house because this is insane so we have got i got a frozen bag of spinach i picked up um the broccoli florets I really like the broccoli florets better. They're whole pieces. If you get the ones that say broccoli cuts, you're gonna get a lot of the like the ends instead of the broccoli itself. Um, so if you look on the package and find the ones that say broccoli florets, you're gonna get a good, a nice piece of broccoli. So Kroger did not have that. Um, I normally get the broccoli florets at Walmart. Oh, the private selection does have the broccoli florets. Um, so I did pick those up. Luke picked up two of these uh, tuna packets. And then we got some Chips Ahoy and then some Nutter Butters. I got two um, boxes of the um, quart size and then two of the gallon size freezer bags. We picked, we did pick up a thing of ground beef. That's the only thing we are, are kind of short on and I meant to run to GFS and get it and I just work let's just be totally honest work took over I don't get off till like six so by the time it just didn't happen so we did pick this up this was $10.99 um, and we always divide it in half so this will be two meals for us um, I had been seeing this um, at Kroger and it's new um, but I didn't want to pay the price for it um, so I found it on markdown so I thought I would give it a try but the um, the focaccia dough so we'll see if how that is luke needed a green pepper we also needed some red pepper jelly um this is our secret ingredient in uh luke's chili i snuck these in at last minute and he didn't see it but i got some gum <laughs> i got some gum and i got some lifesavers <laughs> he said he's seen the gum but he didn't see the lifesavers um we have got y'all seen the cheese drawer i had mozzarella and a couple like half bags of stuff so i just picked up this 16 ounce bag of the mexican blend we use this on a lot of different things we don't use it just on mexican dishes um i feel like it's just a good mix for all purpose we got two things of tomato juice why did you get two okay um, so we got two of them. He picked up this blueberry um, dairy-free yogurt drink. He's never tried this before, so he's going to give it a try. Got some balsamic vinegar. Picked up some butter. I don't think we've ever used this brand, but it was cheaper than a Kroger brand, so of course we got it. Picked up some taco shells just to have. And then this week's um, $5 stock-up item was spaghetti sauce and so normally i get the kroger brand but the kroger brand was a dollar 49 so i went ahead and just did the dollar cans so um, i got five cans of those so i will put those back in the food storage room got two cans of pumpkin and i got like picked up some chili beans and red beans we don't like kidney beans so we always just get the red beans. Okay, I don't like kidney beans. So he always gets the red beans for me. And then I picked up some strawberry pie filling. I was looking for this last week and they were out of it. So I went ahead and picked it up. And then I got some sour cream. And then he got a two liter of Mountain Dew. But that is everything. But that is everything for the grocery haul. Let me write the meal plan down once we figure it out and then I'll share it with you guys. So here is the meal plan. Um, as y'all know, I don't follow the actual Monday through Sunday. I just kind of pick what feels good, but we've got some beef tortellini, y'all. That has been on the meal plan for like three weeks now and I did already make it, so <laughs> I can finally mark it off the list. Um, Luke is making some bomb chili. I love his chili. It's like a sweet heat. He wouldn't let me film it. Let's get a bunch of comments and see um, if we can talk him in to filming it. Um, it's not like a secret recipe or anything, but he said that it's based off the heart. 
Uh, and so he doesn't have like a strict recipe. He just does what feels good. Um, so <laughs> this chili is definitely made with love. But let's try to get a bunch of comments um, on people wanting to see it. And we might be able to talk him in into filming it. Um, I'm going to be making some chicken uh, queso soup. And then um, Friday, I've left it open because my mom's going to be coming up for Halloween. And so we might either go out and eat after work or I might just come home and cook something. And then, of course, Halloween. We normally do like a big pot of soup. Um, and then that way we can like grow trick-or-treating and... Uh, come home and have a nice warm thing a warm pot of soup but things are definitely different now we're not really going trick-or-treating we're mainly just going to like family members houses that we know and that's safe uh with the whole virus thing um so i'm not really sure how halloween's gonna go this year so we will see um but i hope you all enjoyed this video it's definitely something a little different um, but i hope it inspires you and motivates you to get in there clean out your fridge freezer and deep freeze if you have one even your pantry and y'all see what you got and do a low spend a month if you can or stock up for your family if need be but i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up please comment down below subscribe if you are new and i will see y'all in the next one bye y'all